Hello and welcome to Diet Diaries, a prime capsule designed to guide you towards leading a healthier, more fulfilling life. I'm Cheryl Afonso and over the next couple of minutes, I'll be sharing with you answers to nutritional questions that have always boggled you and left you wondering about what's right. Being pregnant brings with it an unexplainable joy, not only for the expectant mother, but to everybody closely associated with her, husband, parents, in-laws. But along with the joy, sadly, comes a list of restrictions. Don't eat this or you'll lose your baby. Don't go there or you'll have a miscarriage. So, is there any truth in this advice often given by older adults? Pregnancy is one of the most beautiful and often looked forward to period in a couple's life and the loss of a pregnancy can bring with it great sadness. The growth of a fetus depends on what the expectant mother is eating and hence the emphasis on adequate nutrition during pregnancy for a healthy outcome. When chromosomal abnormalities, medical complications and the often cited quirk of nature are ruled out as the cause for a miscarriage, diet could be looked upon as a possibility for the loss of a pregnancy. Some dietary suggestions that may help explain miscarriages are consuming fish which are affected by pollutants in rivers, lakes or ponds is a known cause of miscarriage. Although fish is a rich source of protein and vitamins, if you live in an area known for contaminated waters, it is safer to avoid eating fish from the region to prevent the chances of a miscarriage. Be careful when eating meat, shellfish or eggs, especially in the raw or undercooked form, for example with mayonnaise, canned meats, etc. as they may harbour salmonella, a bacteria known to cause severe food poisoning and ultimate miscarriages. Listeria is a bacterium which can cause miscarriage at any stage of pregnancy. Uncooked meat or chicken, seafood, unpasteurized cheese, milk or dairy products have large amounts of listeria. Avoid imported soft cheese such as Brie, Feta, Camembert, Roquefort, Blue Veined, Gorgonzola etc. as these are mainly made with unpasteurized milk which can be harmful during pregnancy. Always check the label of juices to check if they are pasteurized or not. The E. coli bacteria known to cause miscarriages are often found in unpasteurized juice packets. It is best to have freshly made fruit juice to have a healthy and safe pregnancy. It is generally believed that pregnant women should avoid hot foods. For example, papaya, chilies, dry ginger, fish, eggs, pineapples during the nine month period of expectation because consuming these foods could cause a miscarriage or premature labor. However, there has not been any clear scientific evidence to prove that some foods induce heat in the body and others have a cooling effect. Nor is there any scientific research to indicate that heating foods can cause a miscarriage or premature labor and hence it is difficult to say with certainty whether hot foods are unsafe during pregnancy. Many women around the world do eat them with no known harmful effects. Whether you strictly avoid hot foods during your pregnancy or not is therefore up to you and your family. There is certainly no harm in doing so as long as you get enough of all the necessary nutrients during your pregnancy. This is especially important if you are a vegetarian and already avoid certain foods. Well that's your diet tip for today. If you have any queries related to the subject of food, diet and nutrition or comments that you wish to share with us, please email us at the address you see scrolling below and we'll be more than happy to address your question in our upcoming episodes. Eat right, stay healthy with Diet Diaries on Prime. Some time back we discussed about low blood pressure, also called hypotension. Today let's talk about the precautions one should take whilst faced with high blood pressure or hypertension.